Hi everybody, my name is Stuart McKissick. I'm with Latitude 64. Uh, I play out of Mission British Columbia and uh, here at Raptors Knoll Disc Golf Park in the township of Langley. We're a site of the BC Open for 2020 and five USDGC spots. So uh, I thought we'd come to you today with a little bit of an in the bag. Uh, this was my Las Vegas challenge setup, so I'm just going to go through it a little bit. Uh, first and most important, in Canada you need a bag of ketchup chips. And that's always going to keep you strong and get you going up here in Canada. Thanks, eh? All right, for serious now, uh, starting with the putters, I, I keep four putters, controversially, Eric, if you, uh, if harps are putters, but, um, so I putt with shields, so I have a, a, a putter dedicated just to, just to that, and then I have two throwing shields, one's a little bit older than the other, uh, one's a little bit fresher, so overstable and straight, and then I have myself a, a blend deputy, and uh, I use the blend deputy for not anything off a tee ever, but just for those touch-ups, uh, if I need a longer turnover or like a little nose air bounce or something like that in order to try to get um, longer jump putts in as well. So, and then finally, uh, I have a BT hard harp that I use uh, for those overstables and, you know, forehand approaches. So that covers off the putters. Um, let's see, how many mids do I have? Five? Carry five mids. Uh, the most understable of my mids is I carry the Gobi. Um, so... Love this disc because of the feel in the hand predominantly, and it's really good that I can throw with a little bit of hyzer edge. It will pop flat and have that baby turn, and I can also throw really long turnovers with this one. So I like that. Then as a complement to that, for something that needs something a little bit longer, I have a tournament plastic warship. Um, I love the warship disc, but it's probably my most particular disc in the bag. I like the TP ones that are very flat across the midsection. They're almost, uh, they have no dome to them whatsoever. And I find those are the ones that can just hold the straightest, longest line possible. But then when I need something into a headwind, but I need that shot shape, that long straight 100, I can push this out to maybe 360. I've just started bagging and I'm loving the VIPX plastic. Just because I can throw it with hyzer edge and have those long fading hyzers, I can throw it like flat and hard, it'll hold flat and then just tail at the end. So just a complimentary, I don't throw it a ton, but when I need that shot. And then uh, I carry a gatekeeper, but I tried the stock run. I only carry the proto run. It's much more overstable than your, um, the stock runs that are out there in the VIP. But these, um, these prototype versions, I think I have like six or seven now, um, they're much more overstable. This is something that where you can throw with a little bit of hyzer edge and a lot of power and it's just gonna hold. It can hold into a headwind. I get very little uh, left to right action backhand where it's gonna turn over uh, with this disc. And then every, every Trilogy player probably carries a Justice at some point. So this is obviously for forehand flex shots, touch ups, uh, Scoobies, um, Spike Heisers, everything like that to be able to just control all those. Okay, so moving on into the fairways. Um, I carry three overstable fairways. Um, first run, Lucid X, Felon, Eric Oakley Stamp. These things are as about as beefcake as it gets. Um, I throw these for just standstill touch forehands or absolute, you know, just penetrating headwinds or, you know, backhand hyzer smashes. So um, it's a utility disc in my bag. I don't throw it a lot for, you know, stretching anything out. Then I carry a uh, Bio Felon. Um, I carry this because it's got a little bit more turn in it and I can push it out. But I love this for forehand stand-ups. I think this flies about as closest as I've seen in the Trilogy lineup to like a, a Sexton Firebird. It has that ability to get flat, turn a little bit, and fade out. So I love it for that. And it's, I also use it a lot for if I have to throw a thumber. Generally, if I have to throw a thumber, I'm not playing very well. But uh, if I have to throw one, then I'm probably throwing it with this one. And then uh, the Prototype Pioneer. When this first came out, I loved it. It's got a little bit more push forward than the Felon for me. And so I throw this a lot from about 320 to 290, uh, just on spike hyzers. And I do forehand it from time to time as well, but um, don't, I don't forehand a lot of fairways uh, if I don't have to. I got a match play uh, gold line explorer as a fairway. Um, this is just for something that I need some flex play into, or you need to push really straight for a little longer than my warship can provide me or something I can power down on and flip it to flat and have it just ride out. So I throw the Explorer for that. And then my new favorite disc in the bag, the Musket. Love this disc. It's so straight, so long. Um, I carry it in the Lucid X plastic, 
which for me is about 400 feet on hyzer. Um, it just carries and finishes really dependably. Then I have a couple gold lines. Um, when they released the gold line plastic, I grabbed a bunch of them to try it out. So if you've tried the Trilogy Challenge musket, I would say the, the gold line plastic does not fly anything like the Trilogy Challenge. They're much more overstable. This one's a little bit older, so I throw this and it can have a little bit of turn in it and then it'll actually uh, tail out a little bit. I can throw it probably almost as far as my drivers uh, just because it doesn't dump at the end. It doesn't lose its flight. And then this one is new. This is a replica. After I threw it in the water at the Las Vegas Challenge, I had to come home and dye another one. But um, this is a basically a fresh one. Basically, I throw it at a little bit of hyzer, pop it flat. It's not going to turn at all. And it's just going to slowly tail left the whole way. So really dependable, kind of like in the 400 to 420 zone. I just love throwing the musket. And then my really understable fairway, the Stag. So this is a hybrid plastic. Uh, what I love about the Stag is that I can throw it with power, hold a long turnover, and it doesn't really ever threaten to throw, go into a thrower for me. So, um, but when I do need to roll something that's gonna have a, a cut at the end, um, I, do throw, I do throw the Stag as a roller as well, but that's more on a force over. So uh, really dependable long range turnover. And, and sometimes with the right tailwind, you can really flip it up, have it hold a long turn and tail out of it. So um, really long range driver. I just like how it feels. That brings me to the five drivers in the bag. So um, I've been carrying Bio Defenders since they were released a long time ago. And uh, I, love that, I love that disc a lot as soon as I came over to Trilogy. I still carry three Defenders in the bag and I carry two Bio Gladiators or Recycled Gladiators. Um, I find for me, the Gladiator has got more glide and more distance than a Bio Defender because it has less shape in the mid, in, uh, mid flight. So the, the Gladiators also, I will say, I've gotten about 10 of them now. They all have almost identical dome they all fly almost exact to one another, and I've got them in like six colors. So um, the run doesn't matter as much, which I like. I like something that if I, if I need a replacement, I can go right away, get a disc that's gonna fly the same. So most understable is this red one. Um, this is basically my rolling disc now. It's an old, old bio defender, and um, our really big tailwind drives. Next in the understability is my new Blue Gladiator. This is, I've been in the bag for a while now, so it actually got a little bit of long range dependable turn in it and come back. And then I have this one I just put in the bag, which is basically something that I'm looking to throw, have it stay flat with very little turn and tail out of it. So very controlled hyzer through this a ton at the Las Vegas Challenge. I threw it on hole on the end of a course, one, two, three, hole four, the par four, then uh, the one that Girthy Ace, I threw this, I made Eagle there twice with this one. It's just oh, it over the water, let it get on the green, skip forward. Just a really dependable flight. And then I have the Raptors Knoll Bio Defender that I've had in the bag now. This one is really pop top and really beefy. So I throw this for headwinds, uh, forehands, uh, for power and everything else. And then the absolute meat hook in my bag uh, is a um, Lucid Sparkle uh, Defender. So this thing's a little bit flatter. And uh, I can just absolutely smash on this thing and it's never gonna turn, but I can't also throw up much more than 320 feet uh, backhand either, it's so overstable. So this is my dependable, my dependable disc uh, if I have a headwind or something like that. Finally, I guess the bag. Um, this is the E4. I did a review, uh, you can check it out on the channel, and, um, but the E4 is vastly improved, it carries better. I think it's got such nice clean branding on it and uh, just a really great bag to carry around. So. Um, tre tremendous upgrade with the E4 bag versus the E3. So if you're looking for a bag, uh, I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a lot of, a lot of storage. So um, anyways, that gives you a little bit of insight into uh, the bag. And um, you can get any of these discs at acerunners.ca. So you can go check them out. John does great things for our community. Uh, big sponsor here at Raptors Knoll. And we hope everybody wants to come up and play the BC Open in July this year.